Just in, some new information on monthly checks or a one-time check for the low income from the president. Some new details were just released, so let's get into it and discuss what we now know. All right, now this is pretty encouraging as once again, the administration is out considering either monthly checks or a one-time check specifically focused on the low income. This new information was just released, so I want to get into it and discuss everything that we now know about this, what they're considering, and where we go from here. So so let's get right into it. However, really fast before we do, thank you so much for joining me. If you're new here or if you haven't done so yet, please make sure to subscribe by hitting that button right down below the video. It's totally free to do so and so I can keep you updated each and every day with very important information just like what we're going to discuss right here in this video as well as anything else that's going on right now, especially as it pertains to money, benefits, new bills, pieces of legislation, raises to benefits, checks, stimulus, monthly checks, and so many other things that are going on right here right now during this very, very busy time. So again, thanks so much for joining me. I'm here for you in any way that I possibly can be as your one and only daily advocate. So again, please make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet, so you don't miss any updates going forward during this very busy time. And I am very much dedicated and committed to helping you out during this time, get as much money and anything else we possibly can right here, right now. All right, thanks again. Let's jump into it and discuss all of this new information that was just released. All right, so... This is actually pretty interesting because over the last couple months here, two, three months or so, we've seen multiple different proposals coming out of lawmakers saying, you know, one-time check, monthly checks, uh, quarterly checks, all kinds of different things, tax credits, tax vouchers, um, all kinds of different things that have been coming up. Well, as a result of that, nothing has really been coming out of that. Some really promising um, proposals, some really good piece of legislation coming out, but at the end of the day, they haven't really moved forward with any of it. However, we just got some new information that was reported by the Washington Post in regards to some information that was released out of the administration. Here's what they're thinking. They want to send out either ongoing monthly checks or a one-time check specifically focused on the low income to help out with all of this rapidly rising inflation. Yeah, we've been waiting for this for a very long time. Now, what have they been waiting for? Not really sure. Here's what they're thinking though. There's actually a couple little bit of uh, hurdles or dilemmas that we may, be, uh, may need to consider here going forward, but I'm sure they can probably work their way through this and come up with a better solution because some of these reasons for why they haven't sent out checks quite yet is kind of ridiculous. And I wanna walk you through the details on that right now because they're not very good excuses in my opinion, but I wanna talk about this because this information was just released. I wanna let you know what they're actually saying about this right here, right now, and what we could be looking at going forward. All right, so a lot of this that we're talking about and that has been introduced over the last couple months here has hinged around gas prices. Either way, like I said before in other videos, it doesn't really matter what the reason is behind why they wanna give us checks, right? If they wanna send out monthly checks or a one-time check, doesn't really matter. If they wanna use gas prices as an excuse, then by all means, use gas prices as an excuse. I couldn't care less the reason why they wanna send us checks. All I wanna know is when, how much, who, and how fast can you get it to us, right? That's all that I wanna know. So anyway, let me tell you the details about this. Here's what it comes down to. They are now floating the idea once again of sending out prepaid cards for the American people again, the low income to help you out with prices right now. Now, here's what it's supposed to be. It is supposed to be a focused gas card, but check this out. It would be coming out as a prepaid card, but one of their concerns right now is how do we know if people are actually gonna spend it on gas? So that's their main concern right now is, we wanna send out a prepaid card for the people, and again, uh, the, the talk right now is trying to figure out, is it gonna be a monthly check, a monthly card going out, uh, as long as gas prices are elevated a certain above a certain amount, or is it going to be just a one-time card that goes out? But here's their main concern right now. Number one is, how do we know that the people are actually spending it on gas? Well, that's what I've talked about here in the videos previously is, uh, you know, if these cards come out and they're prepaid, how do they really know we're spending it on gas? And I've talked about that before in other videos. Of course, here's the thing. If they send us a card and it's loaded with, uh, I don't know, $100, $200, $500, something like that, and they say, you're supposed to use this on gas. Of course, I can't come here and say, go buy a bunch of other stuff. You know what I mean? I can't be the one to say that. And of course, I would never advocate for that ethically. If they say we need to spend it on gas, then probably we're supposed to spend it on gas. But one of their major concerns is, how do we know that's actually happening? We want this money to go for gas. 
But at the end of the day, if it's just a prepaid card, um, you could virtually spend it on anything, anything where a card would be uh, accepted, right? Just like anywhere that a card, like a, a debit card or credit card, something like that. I mean, literally everywhere. You can go anywhere and everybody accepts a card for the most part, right? So that's one of the main concerns right now as well. Now get this, they have another great excuse up their sleeve. And let me tell you this one as well. They're saying that there's not enough chips available. You might be wondering, chips like, you know, pop open a bag and sit and eat a whole bag of chips? No, <laughs> I'm not talking about those kind of chips. I'm talking about the chips that are made to manufacture the cards. So all of these cards, you know, as they're manufactured, apparently chips are put in them or something. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't really know the process. I That's way over my head. I don't know it. Uh, but apparently there's chips within these cards throughout the manufacturing process. So apparently they're saying, hey, we're having a shortage of chips right now and we, we, we don't really have the chips available to start sending out these cards. Well, here's the thing. They're very open to the idea of sending out either these monthly cards and or a one-time uh, card check, whatever you want to call it, for the people right now as a result of rapidly rising gas prices. In fact, last weekend, we surpassed $5 as a national average for gas prices. And again, it doesn't really matter if this is coming out as a result of gas prices or food prices or just because. It doesn't really matter. At the end of the day, it would be money in your pocket that you could spend on other things, right? You could spend it on whatever you really need or you know, maybe it's gas, maybe you spend it on gas. But the fact of the matter is, if you're not going out spending $50 a week, filling up your car with gas, and you're using this card to do it instead, well, guess what? That just frees it up extra $50 that you get to spend on other things, right? Food or who else, or who knows what else? It doesn't really matter, um, whatever you want. So they are seriously floating this idea and uh, they have it playing out right now. But the fact of the matter is, they have a couple small dilemmas here, which honestly, Here's the thing, like I said earlier, I'm sure they could figure out a way. I mean, I don't know. Let's look back in history the last two and a half years here. What did they do to send out money to people over the last two years? Did they send us prepaid cards? Nope, they sent us a direct deposit right into our bank account or into our uh, Direct Express cards. So at the end of the day, does it really matter if we spend the money on gas or food or whatever else? I can't imagine too many people are gonna be running out these days buying the latest and greatest 60 inch TV. I just don't think that's gonna be happening, right? And if it is somebody that's gonna do that, they're probably not gonna be eligible for the card anyway. So who really cares? If they wanna go spend their own money on that, then fine, do it, right? So. The fact of the matter is, this was just reported, like I said, from the Washington Post, and uh, these details were just recently emerged. So, um, yeah, they're actually talking about it again. Some pretty good stuff here because, like I said, we've seen all these proposals coming out here over the last couple of months, the last two or three months or so. We've seen multiple proposals coming out, some of them looking pretty promising. But from what I can tell about this, this uh, talk out of the administration right now has nothing to do with any of these proposals. It may, uh, may be somewhat of a combination of some of these proposals kind of blended together and then they kind of just gave out this one random idea of hey let's send out ongoing checks or prepaid cards to all the people so i don't know right pretty cool so the fact of the matter is whether we get it in the form of a prepaid card or a check or a uh, deposit into our bank account at the end of the day money is money right if we can spend it somehow in the form of a prepaid debit card where we get so many dollars loaded onto a card and we just get to go out and spend it that's cool too. Uh, doesn't really matter. I'm not sure about you, but where I go, I I never use cash for anything because there's no point, right? I always use a card for literally everything because there's there's just no other way to do it. I mean, well, obviously there are other there are other ways to do it, but the fact of the matter is, if I have a prepaid card in my hand or a credit card, I don't really care. <laughs> if I'm getting the things that I need and um, somebody else is paying or the plastic is paying. I'm cool with that, right? How about you? So anyway, that's where we currently stand as of right now. New information that just hit the wire. And uh, of course, as I do get more details on this and as they work their way through this, of course, I'll be right here for you breaking it all down. But, um, you know, it's looking a little bit promising anyway. The fact of the matter is they're actually talking about it is a pretty big win here. And they're coming up with their own creative ideas. Wow. Unreal, right? <laughs> so anyway, as I do get more details on this, of course, I'll be right here for you, breaking it all down, let you know what's going on here. Uh, one thing I did not see is a dollar amount on this. I did not see anywhere with all the research that I did a dollar amount, which makes me wonder, what are you guys thinking here? Are we talking 250, 500? Are we talking 1,000? Like, what are we talking about here? So anyway, 
Who knows? I'll keep you posted. But anyway, make sure to subscribe down below if you haven't done so yet. Share the video with your friends, family, social media, and go back and check out some of the other thousands of videos right here on the channel. There's a lot of good stuff out there, and I'll continue to be here for you, breaking it all down and bringing you the latest updates as this information is hitting the wire. So enjoy your day. Until next time, have a good one. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you again later in the next video. I'll see you for now.